are we going to talk about? We do. So I guess we would introduce ourselves. Oh. Does that look stupid? We don't want to look at the screen. We don't want to look at the screen. You don't want to look at the screen. I'm not. Yeah. I need this. Can I move this stuff? Let's just leave. Huh? Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. So I guess we will stay. We're back. We're back. Uh, All right. So I'm Wilson Horrell. I'm Vaughn. And uh, we're at the Lift Heavy Run Long headquarters. Yeah. On Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. This is a this is a bad. This is an awesome shop. This is where I live. Uh huh. Uh, and this is where we'll probably be doing our. Our podcast, assuming we continue doing You don't live in the shop. I don't live in the shop. You have a house. I have a house that I live in. Mm -hmm. I have a beautiful wife and two wonderful children. Uh, and I'm fortunate that they don't make me sleep out here. I would make you sleep out here. Which there's worse problems to have than that because mm -hmm. it wouldn't be a bad place to live. All right. So uh, the Lift Heavy Run Long podcast, um, how did we end up here? Whew. Um, let's rewind a little bit to how we ended up with Lift Heavy Run Long. Yeah, Day. yeah, so that's, that's my thing. Like, so I was, um, I was fat and out of shape, and then I went to a CrossFit gym. Amen. And, uh, started working out, started running, and started running long races, because one of my coaches at the time pushed me into running long races. Mm -hmm. And, uh, ended up running my first 50K which was Sillamore, which is what we just finished last weekend. Now you say one of your coaches, one um, of your CrossFit coaches? Yeah, yeah. Which that sounds uh, probably a little unusual for a CrossFit coach to push somebody into running a really long race. Or am, I, am I right about that? Yeah, I guess that is probably a little unusual because most people in the CrossFit world don't like running yeah. very much. So yeah, that's true. Um, so I was at, I think it was Sillamore that I was at, and I was like, uh, had my pre-workout and everything. Like, I didn't approach it as like a long run. I approached it more of like I was, <laughs> I was about to like, like crush a wad in like the gym. So I'm like, it's like the race starts at seven. It's like six thirty, and I'm like, amped up, pacing back and forth, like, yeah, let's go. You know, <laughs> like I'm, I'm about to, about to own this workout. And like everybody like else, this 30 yeah, hard. everybody else is kind of like, just chill. Like, you know, you know, just like walking around talking to each other and I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's uh -huh. go. You know, I was really super excited. And so I got to thinking about uh, like the difference between me and all the other people at that race. And not that I was anything special or anything, just like, man, I bet these people don't lift a bunch of weights, you know, like I bet. I bet the average deadlift around here is not 400 pounds. You know what I mean? Because I had recently pulled 400 pounds and I was really excited about that. And so my mind just got to going and I started thinking about um, how I trained and how most people train for, for races, which turned out to be a lot different than going out and just running a whole, whole bunch of miles and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so from there, I just started thinking about uh, I wanted to make a blog to put my training down in and that kind of thing and so I was thinking about what I would call it and I just ended up combining the two terms of lift heavy and run long and it just became my personal blog for a long time which had not very much activity and just whenever I felt like posting my workouts or whatever I would do that and and then you came along, and so we joined forces, so to speak, and now we're working hard to turn Lift Heavy Run Long into a real thing. Yeah. Right? And uh, It's an intriguing term, Lift Heavy Run Long. There's something about it that I, right. that I like. Yeah. Now, you said you were, you were fat and out of shape. Have you always been fat and out of shape, or were you fat and out of shape before you were fat and out of shape? Or when you were young, have you been athletic at some point in your uh, life? I, I think maybe athletic in high school, yeah. 
but uh, just your typical like graduate from high school, um, work, get married, get fat, smoke a bunch of cigarettes. Well, and yeah, yeah, all all that stuff is, you know, just a lot, a lot of people go through that, you know, where they find themselves at 30 years old and they're fat and out of shape and and you know going oh man i gotta do something about this because if i don't i'm not gonna live very long yeah you know <laughs> so you know that's a that's a common common thing most mm-hmm. people most people don't stick to it but somehow uh i really took to crossfit and it helped me out quite a bit and i had a lot of good coaches around me too yeah well a lot of good support which is if you're at a good gym you have a lot of good people around you you're more inclined to be successful right? well i heard uh I saw something where Mike Bledsoe was talking about you being a compliant athlete, uh-huh. and that's uh, that's sort of atypical. That uh, I guess most uh, people don't want to do what they're told. To do. Yeah, most people. Um, I certainly don't. Right. Most most people already have preconceived ideas in their head about what they need to do to to reach their goals, mm-hmm. and they they don't want to hear outside advice mm-hmm. about it um for me i i i didn't have any kind of background in athletics i didn't have any kind of background in nutrition or anything like that so i didn't know mm-hmm. so i was in a good position just to do exactly what i was told to do well i don't need and, a background in something and so, like i know everything about it yeah well i think you get what i mean like yeah um people do think they know everything about fitness or about nutrition or whatever Uh and so when you come at them with something different they don't they they want to resist it yeah you know so and there are a lot of things within you know the strength and conditioning world that are especially in crossfit where we don't do things the way that everybody else does it Uh you know what i mean like so you go into a globo gym they're not or, or regular gym they're not doing the things that we're doing right you know they're not slamming bars you know, um, and, and running is a great example because the typical runner will go and run however many miles a week and just run, 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 run to train for his race. Whereas we are, when I was introduced to CrossFit Endurance, we're doing something totally different where, where we're, we're, we're putting in uh, work and miles that count versus just going out and running BS miles just to put mileage in. Right, yeah. and we're we're seeing good results uh, without having to go out and run. And so, <clears throat> so when when you go and tell somebody that that's a traditional runner, they they'll say, "Well, that's not going to work because I've got to go, I've got to go run 20 miles. Mm-hmm. I have to because if I don't, I won't be successful." Well, I didn't know any better. I just did what my coaches told me to do. They made a program for me. I did it. I stuck to it, and it worked. Uh-huh. You know, and so that I think that's what he was talking about. You know, as an example of a of an athlete that listens, and in that I just I said, "You're my coach. You tell me what to do. I'm going to do it." And I did it, and it worked. Right. Yeah. Unlike me, who's more like, "You're my coach. Don't tell me what to do. <clears throat> just leave me alone." Yeah. Right. Right. And that's what I'm interested with lift heavy run long is the uh the fact that i don't have a stance on any of it i think it's great that people are getting out and Mm -hmm. doing whatever right um and i don't know the right answer and so i'm interested in finding what the right answer is for people who have made it work right you know and and that's going to be something different for everybody yeah Um, it's not to say that that what i did or what i do is the way to do everything it lots of different ways works it, what I do works for me, and I can, I've seen it work for other people. Right. But I've also seen other things work for other people as well. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's definitely not what we're doing here. Is like saying, oh well, you got to do what this Va- is the way. Yeah, you got to do what Vaughn does. The way. Right. No. If you don't do this, then you're a bad person. No. And that's what you hear a lot of is if you don't do it this way, then you suck as a human. Right. You're gonna suck at everything <laughs> in your life the way that we believe you sucked up to this point. Mm-hmm. So how'd you get here? Uh, I got here by way of treatment center for the most part. Um, I was fat, out of shape, um, loved drinking, loved drugs, loved everything unhealthy. Um, and I came into CrossFit and started turning some things around and was 
like I said, just not, if nothing else, just intrigued by the slogan, the phrase, the words, lift heavy, run long. Uh -huh. I thought that sounds, it sounds interesting and that sounds uh, uh, non-subjective enough to where I can, I can do that. Uh, and up until prior to meeting you, I didn't even know people ran 50 mile races. Um, I needed a, a 50K, which is just something that was absurd. Uh, and so starting to, to sign up for some 5Ks and some 10Ks, I, I met a lot of people through running that were just very welcoming and supportive and, and fun and funny. You know, there's just a lot of interesting characters in the mm -hmm. CrossFit gym um, and out on the trail. And, uh, through road running, I, I found the, the trail runners, and those were the people that, you know, uh, enjoyed spending a day out there, mm -hmm. and just spending the day laughing and, and talking and stopping and running and hanging out and just, you know, all the things that I enjoyed doing, and, and they were willing to, to work with me at my pace and, and let me on their turf. Uh, yeah, that's a unique community. Like the trail running, Absolutely. ultra running community is not, well, I don't think it's the same as like, uh, and being in like a road running club or like going to run a marathon or, or something like that, where uh -huh. when you're on a trail for 50 miles, everybody's supporting you. Like, it doesn't really matter what, what you did to get there. <clears throat> what matters is you're there and everybody's yeah, kind of right. pushing and and really, really supporting each other. And that's that's a really cool thing about trail running and, and, the, and the ultra community. Yeah, absolutely. And I like that, uh, that all-inclusive feel to it. And the reason I like that is because I'm on the, on the back fringes of it, you know, <laughs> because I'm just far enough in to where I can participate, you know, and, and compete. And when I say compete, I mean, stay within cutoff times and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, but I think that some people have the misconception that you have to, you have to get to a certain point in order to, you got to get here before you can play. You uh -huh. must be this tall before you can play. Right. Around. And I don't think any of that's true. You know, you don't have to get in shape before you crossfit. You, you come in there all fat and nasty and, and see where you go from there. Um, yeah, people just tend to put those limitations on themselves. Like, I, there's no way I can do that. Yeah. As a kind of a, almost as a way they don't have to do it. That's the reason. You know, that's like, what stops me. I, I've got enough <clears throat> excuses to make it where it's not a good idea for me to try it. Uh, and that's what I've done most of my life. Is just uh, prior to prior to CrossFit, prior to uh, trail running, prior to all this, I wanted to get through the day. And if that meant get through the day. Uh, by not conversing with anyone or not being seen. If all my needs could be met and me not see anyone, that would be a good day. Mm -hmm. um, and, and now, with all everything that's gone on, you know, I want to get to the day. When I go to bed at night, I want to get yeah. to what's going on. And, uh, you know, I think that health and physical fitness, although I'm not an extremist to the sense of, you know, I eat like shit and, uh, and I, I do my my workouts and I do my running, but I'm not trying to get anywhere than, than where I already am. Mm -hmm. I'm really comfortable with where I am. Uh, but it still enhances my life so much that I think that there's a, a lot of really fun, good people who are probably trapped at a pretty crappy stage in their life that uh, has a lot to do with just lack of general health. Um, and I think it'll be fun through Left mm -hmm. Heavy Run Long and through um, my, my blogs and, and like this podcast I think it's interesting to see who, who reaches out and, yeah and yeah so we so so we're going to bring people on here to talk to them about what they're doing right. that's one of the things that we want to do whether they uh, like it or not <clears throat> whether they like it, like it or not um, talk to them about how they how they train how, what kinds of things they do and just who they are as people you know, yeah. that's, uh, that's kind of the purpose of this podcast, really. And maybe we can go visit some people, too. Yeah. And as you know, I tend to, 
want to get to know people more than they want to get to know me, and I just kind of want to jump on them and, and learn everything about everybody. Uh, that goes for the person working the register at the gas station as much as it does um, the aspiring hammer thrower. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think this is a nice, um, nice entryway, a nice segue into into what we're trying to do, and I think it'll be fun. I'm really excited about it, and I'm very fearful about it. Um, I worry about what other people think, and so I think that that's all the more reason to kind of tackle this and, and see where it goes. Sure. Um, it's fun to be where I am and, you know, not really having the knowledge and the, and the um, skill that, that you have as a coach and a CrossFit box owner and, and what you know about nutrition and running and, and uh, you know, how the body works. I don't have any of that. But what I do have is an interest in, mm -hmm. in people, and I want to learn about them, and I think that uh, we'll have a lot of fun with it. And like you said, we'll get them here one way or the other. If Amanda has access to chloroform, sure <laughs> the hospital, we just wake up right here and you know make them answer four questions, and then we'll let them. Oh, that's going to be great. Let them leave, or we'll probably let them leave, depending on how they answer the questions. We got space. We'll put them in the office. We got a lot over of there. This can be a fun deal. Um, so if anybody wants to, I'm trying my best not to make eye contact with the computer. Vaughn, don't look. Vaughn said not to look. I'm not it, looking. So I'm not. I, I'm not looking. <clears throat> I, I don't know what to do with my hands. Um, um, so if anybody has any questions or interesting ideas or topics or that you want to be shared, um, then by all means hit us up. Go follow us on Facebook. Follow us and, on and if you go to the website and sign up with your email, uh, you'll get a you get an email every day from Beef. Yeah, yeah, you'll get get an email every day, almost every day. Um, leave me your debit card, and you'll get a receipt every day. Uh, is there any questions we we're supposed to address? Oh, you. Uh, let me get on my computer. <clears throat> Tim Too Tall Wilkinson had one that needs to be addressed. And the question was, um, Beef, I admire you as a runner and as a person, and I look up to you and I want to be like you and I wish that I was you. However, I heard recently that you were screwed out of the okay. Sillimore 50K because you were not wearing your lift head and run long booty shorts. And he wants to know if I think that I would have won the 50K had I been in the booty shorts, and the answer is absolutely yes. Um, Everybody thought you were going to win. Everybody said you were going to win. A lot of people said, over and over again, a lot of people said I was going to win. Um, and what happened was my, my booty shorts were got mixed up in, in customs. I was coming back from a trip from running at, with the Taramahu tribe, teaching them how to, teaching them a little bit about uh, foods that are high in sodium and can be deep fried. And they took my booty shorts and... Uh, I wasn't allowed to run him, so I'm going to have to save it for the Arca Butler 10K, where I'll be out there at the Arca Butler 10K in April. What's the date for that, you know? I don't know. Uh, the Arca Butler 10K is coming up. I'll be wearing my booty shorts, nothing else. It's going to be awesome. What are the questions? Uh, somebody uh, says, can I CrossFit, eat donuts, wear a dress, and still get abs like Zac Efron? I think you can pick three know. of the four, but you can't have all four. I don't even know who Zac Efron is. Um, sadly, I do. But I'm gonna, it'd be cooler if I pretend like it did. I don't know who Zac Efron is. I don't keep up with that crap. Uh, here, I'll read this one. I very recently jumped into trail running with both feet and a blindfold. I've never run roughly... <clears throat> excuse me. i never run roughly 46 trail race miles in a six week span before nor have I felt running miles in my joints as harshly as I have posts I don't know this is I know the terrain is more I'll get to a question here in a second do y'all know of a program worth following leading up to big trail races oh yeah okay so uh, yes I I will direct you to runrx uh, dot fit which is a, a company that that I I'm involved with uh, Valerie Hunt and we have plenty of programs out there for you 
to follow, especially since I know this person is trains in our CrossFit gym. So um, I, I can I can definitely help you out there. But uh, if if you're listening, RunRx.fit, you'll find a coach there. Mark Fortune asked a question. <clears throat> I'm not answering or reading any of Mark Fortune's questions. We should probably have him on here um, at some point in time. If we, whenever we get a sensor button. And Corey Adams wants to know if there's a minimum length for shorts. He has time and time again proven that there is not and that they can be worn as, as short as you can find them. Mark Baker asked a question that was far too logical and involved far too much knowledge for me to even get into. I can't even pronounce some of these words, uh, which just, Mark, you're going to have to go to somebody that's got some sense. Vaughn may be able to help you there, but uh, I cannot. Uh, how can I squat heavy and have skinny legs? You don't want skinny legs. That's an legs. awful question. Nobody wants skinny legs. You want big, thick woman legs. I don't want big, thick woman legs. But women <laughs> want big, thick woman legs. They're supposed to be big and thick. That's the way they're supposed to be. Amanda said, I've never heard of skinny legs and CrossFit in the same sentence. We squat too much. Squat too much. That's the point. All right. So, we're going to try to do this, what, once a month? We're, our, the goal is once a month. I think this was great. We can do we it. Had the, we had the courage to even make this happen. Yes. This scared me to death. It's over this now. This scared me to death. It's over. Uh, so, we're going to go about having a good day. We're going to come back in less than a month and we'll have an athlete on the show we will we will have somebody on the show they're going to be awesome whoever it is yeah yeah and it won't be me i won't be the athlete but i'll be here thank y'all have a good day